I wanted to introduce you to the Rebebel pacifier clips with teething beads. As you can see, included are two pacifier clips and one pacifier adapter. When we designed the clips, we looked at what was already on the market. This is the most common model, and we had one made so we could test the features and make ours better. Safety is our number one priority when it comes to baby products. And we noticed quite quickly that this model has a serious problem because it only has a small knot at the end. It doesn't take a lot of force at all, as you can see, to pull the beads over that knot and off the string. And those loose beads are of course a choking hazard. What we did was that instead of pulling both strings through the last bead, we looped them around it, which makes it impossible for the bead to come off. Another thing that parents who tried this model were complaining about was that it's quite inflexible. It means that a pacifier could quite easily be yanked out of a baby's mouth when they move. By adding a knot in between each of the beads, our pacifier clip is much more flexible and easier for a baby to handle. Weight was another issue. For small babies, these types of clips can feel heavy and make the pacifier fall out. For the Rebebel clips, we added smaller beads towards the ends, and that way we managed to shave off about 20 to 25% of the weight. The smaller beads also has the advantage of adding variety. We decided to pick beads for the Rebebel pacifier clips in different sizes, different shapes, and different colors. This makes it more interesting and keeps your baby entertained and occupied for much longer. A younger baby might like the smaller round beads, while a 12 month old might prefer the bigger ones that has more edges and resistance when being chewed on. And colors? Research shows that babies are not only entertained by a variety of bright contrasting colors, they also learn from it. So we kept this in mind when designing the Rebebel pacifier clips for your baby.